The markets uh, showed some strength again today with the Dow coming back up above the T-line. But as you can see, the trajectory of the market is kind of flattening out. But the underlying factor remains that they've closed it above the T-line after the big kicker type signal on uh, the middle of last week. The NASDAQ is still showing good strength after it did the best friend signal last week, a doji followed by a gap up through the T-line. And even though it traded relatively indecisive today, it's still trading above the T-line. Now, as a uh, candlestick investor, this isn't really all that important in the sense that even though there isn't a strong upward move in the market, the fact that we're trading above the T-line still tells us there isn't any major change of the current market uh, investor sentiment, which, as you can see, is a slow, steady uptrend. The candlestick patterns are what produces the big profits during a... Uh, a price move. Even though the market's not up strong, there's patterns that are going to produce excessive profits, such as a big fry pan bottom that started with your best friend signal starting the uptrend. Notice the simple analysis after the uptrend uh, signal. It hasn't been able to close back below the T-line. How long do we hold this position? Until we see a sell signal and a close below the T-line. And when the market doesn't have any real definite direction, it's prudent to have short positions in the portfolio also. As you can see on this big dumpling top, which is the opposite of a fry pan bottom, that today there was a kicker signal to the downside. And what usually starts the uh, big price move out of a dumpling top or a fry pan bottom? A very strong candlestick signal. So the strongest of all signals which is the kicker signal, is telling us it's time to go short on SQM because there's the probabilities that you could have a very strong downside. And candlestick analysis has a much clearer vision of when it's time to take profits. As you can see illustrated in the square chart, it held right along this uh, T-line for months, making a very high profit trade. However, look at what's happening right now. Whenever you see a gap up in the overbought condition, and then you start seeing indecision, and notice how far away we're moving from the T-line, this gives you much more prospects that there's going to be a reversal soon. So it's telling us to be a little bit more prepared, getting ready to start taking profits. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.